Ahoy hoy. Let's get this one out of his back and into Z collection. Should I open up? Okay, this this side is basically open already, so let's go ahead and boop. Boop. And then just boop. and then just boop. let's see we got clubbers. I think I got him recently. I think. Have to check. Stickers. Decals. Right, let's see. Box to the floor. Lime Toys. Machine War Within. Ares High Marshall. Transforming Super Posing Robot. Super Posing. Because it has a lot of poses. Advanced articulary, Articulated Posing. Many different actions can be recreated. Double shot arm cannons, plasma chainsaws, iron burst guns, and dual strike blades. I was looking forward to this guy because, uh, yeah, this mold is pretty damn amazing, right? So, a lot of people know about this mold. Let's see if I can find the place where it actually opens. Go ahead and just, just destroy the box because why not? Oh, it was backwards. There we go. And put the box near me, and here are the instructions. And this looks great. This looks cute. Um, I've never seen a a figure come in a blister like that before. That's uh. Very fucking adorable. Let's see, first impressions, how it feels. Oh, this is heavy. This is very heavy, and I... You know me. You know I'm a stickler for weapon storage, and this guy has more weapons than the original one. And it has weapon storage for everything. Let's see, like it has additional smokestacks, weapon storage for those. Not rolling that well because it's not properly transformed, as you can see here. See, like, yeah, the, the bottom is grazing against the floor, against the the desk. But that's fine. I'll I'll fix that soon. Uh, and as you can see, it has new chain swords and it has weapon storage for all of them. And I think that is just swell and dandy. I'm very happy with this. The The feeling of the plastic is very interesting. Because uh, I'll be honest, like just like holding it, it feels knockoffish. Because it is a knockoff after all, but it, it does feel knockoffish. But it still feels good. Like it, it's very, very fucking hefty. Very fucking hefty. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to transform this guy. And then I'm going to come back and give you my impressions on this dude. You can, like, there's so many things you can do with this guy now. It's pretty awesome. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Whew, and we're back. This took me a bit longer than I thought it was going to uh, take me. Because uh, always transforming the back wheels is a bit uh, annoying in this mold. That said, yeah, you can totally tell this is a KO. The plastic feels cheap. And it feels hollow. That said, for $50, this thing is a fucking steal. At least from Chelsea Store when I got it. I got it for about $50. Um, yeah, look, look at it. Look at it. Look, look at it. You, I know you can like take these and like put them there as well if you want. Like that's another 
display option you have. I don't know why would you, but it's it's a thing you can do. So might as well just this is just you put it in there and then to take it out it's gonna yeah. Fucking bitch. Oof. Gotta even put it in. Need some Vaseline. Anyways. Uh they, they look just fine on the feet, honestly. It's fine. Uh as you can see, like this dude, you can arm him up a lot because of all the weapons he has. He can use these uh in his hands. Uh he can use them on his wrist. He can have the blades on his wrist. These things also turn into wrist mounted cannons if you want. Like this this dude has a fuckload of ways you can display him. Which is awesome. The articulation is pretty damn good. Uh as it was with the original mold. So, you know, that, that's that's a thing a thing you have. So that's pretty cool. All in all, even though it's a KO, it feels pretty fucking nice for a KO. Like, it does feel KO-ish, and it already has some stress marks. I don't know if the camera picks that up, but, like, uh, has already stress, uh, stress marks here. And that's just, uh, it just came like that. So, you know, make of that what you will. I, I honestly think this thing is totally worth the price. If you can find it for like, you know, even a hundred dollars, I think it's still decent for this thing. Now I'm going to show you a quick size comparison. Uh, so you see how much of a oversized KO this is. He is basically MP size. Yeah, he is basically masterpiece scale. Not masterpiece quality, even though it kind of looks like masterpiece quality, to be quite honest. Uh, it has a light up feature, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna really like, work with that. Like whatever. Uh, I have to admit, like, like they did a bang up job with this thing. It looks great. It feels decently. Uh, that said, you know, like uh, this size comparison done. That said, doesn't feel as good as this guy. This is the original. Well, not the original one because this is the black one. This is the Nemesis Prime one. So I love my black colors. Um, this dude feels way better than this dude. Just, just by holding them like this, like, this guy feels way more dense than this guy. This guy feels good though. Like, this guy feels like, you know, this guy feels like a toy. This guy feels like a genuine, like, good ass toy. That, you know, it might break because it does have die cast, but as you saw, uh, it already has uh, stress marks and a lot of the plastic. It's mainly the red plastic. The red plastic doesn't feel as good. Then you go back here and you see like this hollow bit and like you feel this plastic and it feels really, really uh, hollow. Then you, you compare it to this hollow part and like this plastic feels way better than this plastic. It's, it's, it's weird because it's really hard to describe. You really would have to like handle it yourself so you could actually tell the difference uh this guy actually has stress marks here because uh transforming the feet the legs isn't as easy as you hope it would be so it gets some stress marks but that said um yeah wait see if i can pose him how i was posing him originally that said yeah like the original one feels like twice as better as this guy, even though this guy, like, he, he looks great. The colors pop. He looks great. It's just like, it doesn't feel as premium as, as this guy. Like, this guy feels dense. Like, the plastic feels really dense. It's really nice. This guy is just like, you know, he's, 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 he's there. Like, the transformation felt a lot more finicky on this guy. And a lot of things don't want to tab in properly on this guy, unlike him. But it goes to show, you know, you, you, you can knock, knock it off, but KOing MMC, that was a very bold move. Um, a lot of people were angry. A lot of people were saying like, oh, don't buy it because, you know, it's MMC. But, you know, MMC, they have their time and they stopped doing reformatted. 
to the chagrin of a lot of, a lot of us. Like I, the reformatted line was my favorite line, but they discontinued it, and they're focusing now on G one. Not really a G one fan. I much prefer my stylized box like this one. Uh, that's it. Yeah, I I'm happy with this. Because, again, even though it doesn't feel as good as this one, it doesn't change the fact that this is a very good bot. It's a very, very, very good toy. Yeah, like, those ratchets feel nice. Very happy with this. Uh, see if I can, like, when I transform it back into car mode, if it actually rolls properly. But uh, yeah, that, that, that's been my look at Aries. I'll see you guys next time. Adios. Who would you be without me, Prime? Time to find out.